In this video, we will discuss editing surfaces points. If you'd like to follow along with this video, please open the file editing surfaces points.dwg, located in the training folder as discussed in the working with this dataset video. Most surface edits are done by selecting the surface and choosing the appropriate surface edit from the contextual ribbon. We'll look at editing, removing, and adding surface points. Let's go ahead and zoom into the bottom right part of our surface. Now, let's say if we had contours displaying and they weren't displaying kind of exactly the way they should be, just because they didn't get enough points in this area, you could actually add surface points. Let's go ahead and select the surface and we'll go ahead and pick on Edit Surface. And here are all the different point options. Remember, whatever point edits we make or additions, do not change or edit the Civil 3D Cocoa points in any way, shape, or form. They will still be the Civil 3D Cocoa points that they were, whether or not they came from a survey database or were created in the drawing, and you are not making edits to those actual points. These are surface points. So let's go ahead and click on Add Point. And let's go ahead and just verify. I'll right click on my O snaps and let's turn midpoint. I just want to add some points to, let's say, the midpoint to just kind of get some extra points for better triangulation. We'll go ahead and click on here. Notice the command line window. It says new elevation point 103.17075. This is the exact location where I snapped. So it actually does grab the elevation. So if you have 3D points and you want to add just, let's say, the points to your drawing, you could just do it that way as well. I'll press enter. Notice how the triangulation goes right to that point there. Let's go ahead and do the same thing over here. Same elevation, we'll press enter. And as you can see, that's how you add surface points. Let's go ahead and look at an existing point. The surveys come back and say, you know, actually this point here at 788, there was a bogus elevation in some sort of way through the data collector or whatever it is. And we actually need to edit the point. This point, however, the Civil 3D Cocoa point is stored in the survey database. So we can't really edit it unless we have permissions to. Press escape here. We can edit the surface point with the correct elevation. So we'll go ahead and click on Edit Surface, Modify Point. And this is why you need the surface points displayed with a style so that you can actually select them. Press Enter. It does tell you the elevation. And let's say the true elevation is 102.98. So we'll type in 102.98, press Enter. And although it looks like nothing happened, I'll press Escape here. If we hover over this, you'll notice that the elevation is right on there, okay? But again, notice how it did not edit the Civil 3D Cocoa point. Let's say we want to remove some points. I still want to maybe keep a survey point, but I want to remove it from the surface because it no longer is necessary. We'll go ahead and click on the Edit Surface dropdown, and we'll go ahead and click on Delete Point. And now you're picking the actual surface point. Press Enter. Notice how that gets deleted immediately. So those are some quick and easy ways to make surface edits using points. Navigate to the Surface Properties. And with any kind of surface edits, they're all stored in the actual surface here. We could remove entries. We could just toggle them off with Civil 3D surfaces.